What is up everybody? So you just got your new copy of Pokemon Violet or Pokemon Scarlet all downloaded, your Switch is ready, and you load up the game and you feel overwhelmed. Well, I'm here to help you and tell you about some early game tips, tricks, hacks, things that I wish I would have known about when I first started. And the first one's going to be when you're looking around and you're finding that Grimming Ghoul. Instead of running around and looking individually one by one trying to find that one coin, if you go up to the tops of Watchtower, so anything with a ladder, you can find him there sitting inside of a chest and if you defeat him or if you catch him, you will get coins. So if you catch him, you only get like four or five, but you're able to catch him. And if you defeat him, you actually get 50. And you actually need 50, co uh, 100 coins, sorry, to evolve him. The second important thing about going up on top of here is you actually open up another waypoint for you able to be able to fly to. So that, that's really massive. The second really awesome thing that I really want to talk about, and I wanted to put it pretty early on in this video in case you don't watch the whole thing, is if you actually go into your Pokedex, which is not talked about very often about this Battle Pass-like feature. So if you go into your Pokedex and you hit X, you're going to load up this Battle Pass. And it's basically going to give you all of these awesome, amazing items through progression of your Pokedex. So definitely check it out. I'm sure you have some awesome rewards waiting for you. So take a look. And then the third tip is pretty straightforward, but some people don't know about it. If you have a fainted Pokemon and you are stuck in an area because you are EV training, let's go training, you are looking for a shiny or you're battling trainers and you're almost fainted and you have a while to go before you hit that next location of a Poke Center. If you actually open up the picnic and make yourself a sandwich, you are able to heal your Pokemon to full health. So it's definitely worth looking into if you are trying to you know, progress through the story and you just don't want to turn all the way back because you're halfway there. All right, and my fourth tip is not really a tip as much as advice. I would say when you're overwhelmed because there's so many different paths and storylines you can choose, I would prioritize the Titan storyline first because that's going to give your ride Pokemon the ability to fly, glide, climb, swim, and just make you know, traversing the terrain a thousand times better. So you don't have to worry about your Pokemon being overleveled because if you catch them early on, they will be loyal to you and they will listen to every command that you have. It's just the new ones you catch at level 55 that, you know, you only have one badge that won't listen to you. So keep that in mind when you're deciding which story mission to go with. All right, so my next tip isn't really a tip to progress the story or anything like that. This is more or less for those early game collectors who want to have a really awesome Pokemon that's super rare, super hard to come by, and that is the Fire Fighting Tauros or the Water Fighting Tauros, depending on which version of the game you have. So if you have Scarlet, you're going to want to eat something that gives you the encounter power of Fire, and if you're playing Violet, you're going to want to eat something that gives you the encounter power of Water, and then just run around wherever the Tauros is spawn, and you have a good high chance of finding that super awesome rare Tauros. And if you don't see it, just do the picnic reset and eventually you will come across it. All right, my next tip is actually takes place in the Pokemon Academy. And you just want to make sure that you're going in there to talk to your teachers because you're going to open up some really cool, awesome dialogue and get rewards for it, as well as Jacques here, who will also give you um, rewards based on how much Pokedex entries you have completed. So you get a lot of pretty cool, awesome items. So just make sure you come in here every so often check your teachers, check your, you know, you was shock and get those awesome rewards and sweet dialogue. All right, and my next tip is to be like Cobra Kai and show no mercy and defeat every single trainer you possibly come across because if you do, you're going to be able to get rewards based on how many trainers you have defeated in an area and you just usually go outside of a Poke Center and there is a guy standing there who will ask you, who will tell you, oh, you have defeated this many Pokemon trainers or you need to defeat this many more Pokemon trainers and here's an item when you do. So it definitely, 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 definitely do not overlook trainers. All right, and for my last tip trick, it's not really a tip or a trick. It's more or less just like a Pokemon life hack. And that is there's three Pokemon that require you to run around in the Let's Go feature. But if you throw them out, as long as they're in the first party, the first section of your party, they will just run around like you can see right there, my little guy running around. And after a thousand steps, you can evolve him. Just make sure there is like that you save because there is no way to actually tell if they've walked a thousand steps. So just save the game before you think that you have and give them a candy and they will evolve. 
So if you like this or I missed anything or you learned something new, just let me know. Put it in this, you know, the comments there and I will reply back. And if there's some sweet things that I missed that you guys know about, please let everybody know as well as myself because I'm always looking for some new cool things to see in the game. So thank you so much guys for watching and enjoy your Pokemon experience. Peace.